Hello Virgos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for the beautiful Virgos this week. Not a lot, okay. Pretty calm week for you Virgo. Oh, Three of Cups. Some type of party, socialising, um, reun reuniting with old friends, reuniting with um, loved ones, because this is cups here, so it could be like, I'm feeling a lot of you are like around a family, but it's your friends. Do you know what I mean? When your friends are more your family, it's like a family of friends or a friends. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say? Or you don't, but you know. Um, I don't know. Silly energy. Silly energy I'm getting. Four of Cups, Page of Wands, which is very silly, and the Five of Swords. Hmm. I feel as if there's going to be a situation, whether it be around family or friends, like I keep saying, um, and it's like a bit of energy of tension, right? Because Five of Swords is all that unnecessary conflict. So it feels a little bit like when you're in a room and there's two people that either don't like each other or you feel are about to have an argument and you're kind of like ugh, like walking on eggshells with the four of cups and the page of wands there's something here where you're kind of going to ignore the conflict and just be silly like and just be silly so if there's gossip because you do have the three of cups so this could very well be gossip and conflict there's something where virgo there's a or at least the guidance if you are in this situation and you're not doing this, is to be silly. It's like, it feels like you're going to find yourself in a predicament of, ooh, these people, are they really annoyed at each other? Are they actually that angry at each other? Why are they throwing daggers at the at, across the room at each other? Like, why do they look so, and there's like, and they could be saying things and like uttering you know, it's just drama, it's unnecessary drama, it's almost like someone's been watching too much um, crappy TV shows and they want to cause drama where there isn't any just to cause a commotion and you're just going to kind of fly above it and you're going to be like, ah, like laughing about it or changing the subject or just being silly um, in order to ignore it and I feel like a lot of this could be just be one person trying to get attention and so they're causing some type of drama, they're causing some type of kerfuffle um, and you're just going to be like, huh? Oh my god, is that an aeroplane? Look over there. Like, there's something where you're going to be causing a distraction. I don't know why that keeps coming through. Especially, like, look at that dolphin. It just feels like a distraction. It feels like, oh, is that a dolphin holding up a cup? And everyone looks, instead of looking at whatever conflict, whatever drama, whatever they want to gossip about, you're causing, you're creating a change from negative energy to light-hearted energy of silliness and playfulness which is really really nice it's also kind of virgo -y to do that i feel knight of cups king of cups you're bringing emotional balance to an otherwise unbalanced situation of do you know this is just giving off teenager energy so i don't know if you've got like a lot of teenagers around you or if you're going to be around younger people because it's just like you're going to be like oh my goodness I am the mature one I have to take the high road and then you're going to take it what else is going on for Virgo this week the Hierophant that's so funny as I'm saying you're going to be the mature one um you could be a teacher some of you are teachers to teenagers which makes a lot of sense with everything else I just said but there's a feeling also of just taking the higher ground what would it's almost as if i don't know you know how people go to gurus and sages and they go for advice right there's a feeling here of you kind of realizing that you have the advice if you just pretended to be the guru you'd actually find it so like i don't know if you're going to find yourself making a decision or figuring out how to handle something but it's almost like you're just going to put on your um guru hat and be like if I was a wise master, how would I handle this? Instead of freaking out, I'm going to stay balanced. And how would I handle this if I was a very wise guru that people came to from all ends of the earth? Um, 
and then you're going to handle something from that. And I know that sounds really weird, but I hope it makes sense. Instead of being like, I don't know if you if you usually have someone you go to for advice and they're not around and they're traveling or something, but it's just like you're going to realize that you have all the wisdom within you, basically, this week. And it might start off as a joke. It might start off as like you pretending you know what you're on about and then you're going to realize oh you do actually know what you're on about what else is going on with Virgo nine of wands and the hermit um I was about to say what's going on in love for Virgo so nine of wands is all about wounded warrior and so a lot of you if you're single it's this feeling of you've been hurt in the past you don't want to be hurt again that's not you're not going to let that happen so you kind of got this wall up but I'm feeling with the Hermit and the Nine of Wands together, you might be tempted to, like, the fact that he's even near that wall, looking through the Nine Wands, he should just be chilling on the other side of that wall, reading a book, if he's really blocked everyone out. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if you're really happy with the wall you've built yourself off from the world or from love, you'd be entertaining yourself and doing things and planting things on the other side of that wall. But you're not, you're still trying to peep out, you're still trying to see. Um, so I feel as if there might be an urge this week to kind of leave your hermit mode, or leave your bubble, or leave the defense mechanisms, or just let your walls down a little tiny bit this week. I feel as if that's going to be very, very good for you to do. Because, like I'm saying, like he should be off doing his thing, he's clearly he's clearly making it known that he's got his walls up do you know what I mean it's like when someone says um it's like when someone says I they you know makes sense no it's like when someone says don't come near me I'll hurt you don't come near me I'll hurt you and they warn you there's something where you're making it known but you're also like hmm why am I making that known? Why am I communicating that? Because usually I don't communicate. Usually I don't say those things. So the fact that I've said that and tried to... It's almost you trying to let your wall down. Like, you know you're ready. If you're in a relationship, you're still letting your wall down. You're still opening up to some way more than you have before. Um, justice. Some of you are getting married. If you're in a relationship, obviously, you can't get married if you're not, but, um, yeah. With the star card, there's a wish fulfillment. There's something you've dreamed and wished for, but it's actually signing a contract. You could be buying a house with someone. If you don't, if you're not interested in marriage necessarily, you're still putting down something solid by signing something. It's very exciting, it's dreams, it's wishes fulfilled. Um, this is like, some of you are moving, some of you have already kind of put plans in motion. one more card um what else is going on with the virgo the tower the two of wands there's an end of waiting and the two of cups beautiful if you've kind of been waiting you're like hmm, something's gonna fall into my lap when it's meant to there's a tower moment for that and i feel as if this is your life in general this week you're kind of just doing things um very spontaneous energy it could be like oh i'm gonna wait and see what blah blah blah's plans are to decide where i'm going you're just gonna do what you want to do from now on i don't know if you're avoiding an ex and you want to know if they're going to the party before you agree or going to a wedding and you're like i want to know if they're going so i know not to go there's something where you're just gonna like tower moment actually it doesn't matter you're gonna do what you want to do do you want to go cool go like feels very liberating, very freeing, and there could even be someone you meet there, if it is a wedding you're going to, um, but there's something, you're, you're, you're figuring out someone else's plans in the past, and you just put that behind you suddenly, you're like, nope, nope, don't really care anymore, I'm just gonna do what makes me happy, and go where I feel called to go, and forget about their existence for a second, um, kind of very, very nice, a lot of you are going to a party, or a engagement value or a wedding i really feel that um i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated or you feel it will in the future because obviously it's not happened yet please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny sports tarot tuesdays